My name is Origami Mark. Uh, you can contact me on my website, which is origamimark.co.uk. Uh, I'm now going to make uh, an origami stem, which would hold a flower. Uh, so here we have a piece of suitably coloured paper. It's green on one side, white on the other. First thing we do is fold the piece of paper in half diagonally, one point to the other, making our folds as neat as possible and making the creases that we do quite firm. So run your thumb along all the creases so it's nice and firm. Now this is a little trick that I learned many years ago for making neat folds to a, to a, to a crease point. It's much easier to fold to a line like this, which is away from you, than it is, for example, to try and do the same fold while the paper is open. It's much harder to see where the fold is supposed to go. So whenever you can, always make sure you fold to a, a crease point like that. What we're going to do is fold this raw edge at the bottom up to the centre. Do the same on the other side. Then we've got a little white triangle and a big green triangle. We fold the raw edge of the little green triangle up to the centre as well. Trying to avoid the paper slipping while we do that. So that's near enough. We'll do the same on the other side with the other little triangle. And so we finish up with the diamond shape on that side. I don't check that side with some flaps. What we do now is fold the paper diagonally the other way, the way we did it first of all. And when we do that, we can refold these raw edges in, refold the top raw edges in, and we have a flap that sort of automatically makes itself in the middle. Go down onto the table to try and flatten this out a little bit. We'll do it. And don't worry too much for this. For the purpose of this flower, it doesn't matter if you've got little gaps like this, it makes it more organic looking. So that's fine. We take one of these little flats we've just made and we fold it downwards. And then we fold it over on top of itself to fold it in half like that. So we've got one of our little points pointing upwards and other little points pointing over to the right in this case. Turn the model over onto the table. It's usually easier to do this on the table rather than trying to do it in the air. These points, that point is pointing upwards, so we want the downward bit of the model, which we're going to fold almost in half. Don't go right to the edge, right to the crease. Just go almost in half like that. And do the same on the other side. Almost in half. Then we have a point here where we've got a piece of paper that goes wraps itself around to the front. At that point, we want to make a crease directly upwards like that, hold the middle almost in half. We then concertina it back on itself. And how the, big, the gap between here and here doesn't really matter too much. Make it for this size of paper, it's about just under an inch. And you have to vary it very much based on the size of the paper you're folding. What we're now going to do is fold that raw edge, that, that folded edge and this folded edge into the centre again. So what we're doing is we're making the stem thinner. So this bottom piece that, we, that I'm working on now, this piece to the right, is actually the stem of the, uh, is the, the stem of the stem. And the top bit is going to be the leaves. So what we do now, turn them all over, fold it in half. So that our little pointy bit that went over to the right before now sticks out and the other pointy bit sticks upwards. What we're now going to do is fold this long piece which forms the main leaf over on onto its, onto its side and the crease is from that point where that angle changes down to about just above where this these pieces of paper cross. And you can feel it because there's a there's a very thick piece of paper there that stops you going any further. Just fold it like 
one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this raw edge and all its other bits and pieces over on itself to meet up with this folded edge that we've just made. So, like that. Nice firm crease. And now, if you open the model up and put your finger in the pocket at the back, you can reverse one of those folds that we've just made and you have a leaf shape. Fold that over on itself the other way and then we're going to concertina this top piece of the leaf, fold it backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards on itself and open it all up and when you open it up there's a leaf, it's all nice and curly and leafy. And we do the same with these two little leaves as well, so we just fold little one over onto itself, fold in half, and again we just concertina onto itself, open it up and it's all nice and curvy and leafy, and the same with this one. This one's a little bit more difficult, there's not so much material to play with, so just make it, fold it in half and then concertina the bit you can get at, and again it comes out. that is the stem. Now what I'm going to do is join this onto a flower, make it much more interesting. Here's a rose that I made earlier, Yellow Rose of Texas. And with this rose inside here, that's fine, I can just uh, pick that up. <coughs> just carry on. Yeah. On this rose we have some zigzag points that I put into the model. They fit inside the model underneath these little flaps here. So if we slot that one in, fold the outer paper over the top of that, that thing to lock it in place, slot the other one in, fold the paper over to hold it in place, and then fold the whole leaf back on itself and then back up again and what that will do is lock those creases in place they're now firmly held by the stem in place and if we put the creases all back make it all nice and curvy we have a rose on a stem 